Another key tool in e-learning is the use of quizzes. Quizzes can be configured so that the students will take them either in the classroom or outside of the classroom and the quizzes can be timed for true and false multiple choice and uh, similar questions the quizzes can be graded automatically by the system and the student will receive a grade as soon as they press submit. You can also incorporate essay questions and you can grade those questions separately. So to configure a quiz in e-learning what you need to do is you go into the course, you turn editing on, and you know that you have turned editing on by uh, making sure that you have all these little icons. And you can turn editing on under settings as well. Let's go to the course or that section where you want to create a quiz. Click on add an activity and then choose quiz. Under the quiz, click on add and then give the quiz a name. You can specify an introduction. This will be basically what you're going to cover in this quiz and when it will be available and uh, further details. As far as the timing for the quiz, you can specify that um, the quiz will open at a specific time. For example, let's say your class meets at uh, 6.30 p.m. That's when it will open. You can also close the quiz automatically at a certain, uh, a certain time. So let's say uh, you want to close it at 9 p.m specify that it closes on July 30th at 9 p.m. You can uh, enable a time limit in it so the student will have only 10 minutes to take the quiz and then the, as far as the attempts uh, they you can choose one of those options this is the default that attempts must be submitted before the time expires basically they have to complete everything before their time expires under the grade category, you specify what category this falls under. Let's say quizzes. How many attempts? I would recommend you use one attempt uh, depending on your style and what you're trying to achieve and utilize the quiz for. You can allow more than one attempt. However, you might want to specify as well how much time between the attempts the students will have are allowed and also um, when you give them more than one attempt, it creates uh, more of a case for plagiarism or copying each other's answers and that type of thing. But it depends on what you're trying and how you're doing this. Under the layout, uh, you can specify to randomly shuffle the questions. And then as far as new pages, you can have all the questions in one page. My recommendation would be that for every question, they would have to click on next. They complete one question, then they move on to the next and so on. Shuffle within the questions. This is in the case of a lab and uh, you don't want the students to look at each other's screen. What might be the correct answer A for one student? It may not be the same answer for other students. The, as far as the review options, immediately after the attempt, or uh, if you're giving the students more than one attempt to take a quiz, then probably you want to turn off the feedback immediately after the attempt. In that way, they can't see what one was the wrong or the right answer so that the other student can copy from it. But if you're giving them only one chance, and if that is the only class taking this quiz, then you, choose, you leave those options the way they are. And as far as other options here, um, you can use browser security as well, where students would not be allowed to copy and paste. However, for some browsers, this causes issues. So if you're having trouble with your quizzes, make sure the browser security is set to none. The disadvantage of that is uh, that then the students are allowed to copy and paste and switch between the browsers and that type of thing. There are other options here as well. They're not uh, that key. And at this point, we are already basically, we are saying this so far that we are going to have a quiz. It's going to be on this date and the quiz is going to have this specific criteria however we have not defined as to what questions will be in the quiz so at this point we are going to go and click on save and display so they can work and build this quiz even further and then we are going to click here on edit quiz once we click on uh, edit quiz at this time we need to actually add questions to this quiz so the question bank contents, so we need to click on question bank contents uh, here if we had a question bank. 
or we could just simply click on add a question and then we'll create our questions. So the most common ones are the true and false. So we'll click on true and false. Click on next. So the question name is the identifiable names uh, that will show for you to, when you pick the questions. The question text is what the student will see. So you can actually copy and paste it in here under the question text the correct answer in this case so you're saying the, the bible is god's word so uh, the correct answer is true and then you can have also general feedback no matter how they answer it you can have general feedback if they answer true you could specify further feedback for the student and if they choose false then you can have feedback regarding that as well so basically the students are learning from the feedback when they press submit. So uh, click on save changes. So that's one question that we are adding. Another type of question that we can insert here in our quiz is a multiple choice question. And click on add question, then click on next. We're going to enter our question. So we'll make it a simple question here. Karen University is located in. So we can have default feedback here for any type of question, no matter how the, answer, the student answers it. Only one question answer is going to be allowed, and the choices are going to be A, B, C, D. So choice one would be in Europe. So they get no points for this. Then uh, choice two would be Alabama. They get no points for this either. Choice three would be Langhorn. Or just Pennsylvania and choice and for this one they'll get a hundred percent if they choose this answer and then let's say they get no points for that scroll down and choose save changes so at this point we have only two questions you can also click on uh, show here under the question bank and if you have other questions that you have imported for example from other uh, textbooks and so on or you're building a, a test bank you can choose to add more questions and reuse the same questions that you have in your question bank and add them to specific quizzes but for now for demonstration purposes we're going to have only two questions and then notice that the maximum grade is going to be a hundred and each question it has equal value you can specify a different value for different questions so uh, let's say we give this um, 30 for this one 70 for that one you can reorder it from here and then once you have defined your quiz then you can click on preview to see how the quiz will look for the student and this is how the student um, the quiz will look then uh, they'll answer next this is how the second question will show up and then this is how much time it will tell the students that they have left on the questions and if they are ready to go and submit it they'll click on submit all and finish and the quiz will display in the course page just like another item right here so that's how briefly how you configure a quiz in e-learning